Hey y'all, I'm Shayna and I'm back with another review. This is for Love and Hip Hop Family Reunion Season 3, Episode 7, called A Song of Fire and Spice. And let's go ahead and jump into it. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. If you've been here before or if this is your first time, don't hesitate to subscribe and check out my other content. Like the video so we can get it through this crazy YouTube algorithm. And without further ado, let's go, let's go ahead. So we pick up with Lyrica and Shekinah arguing. Lyrica, girl, this is not your fight. Like, it seemed like she was looking for a moment. But anyway, so Shekinah decides to leave the party before Spice even get there. Everyone tired of Shekinah starting ish. Like, they just about sick and tired of her, period. So Spice comes out and her friend and fellow, uh, you know, reggae artist, Pompate. Sorry if I said that wrong. I apologize. But she comes out to perform. Then Carly Rae apologized to Mariah Lynn again, but it sounded much more sincere this time around. So Mariah accepted her apology. We know Carly Rae about to leave anyway, so I'm glad they moved on and let bygones be bygones. Because at this point, I don't even remember what they was even arguing about. Shay and KK talk to Shekinah the next morning. And Shekinah doesn't take any accountability. I'm going to be real with y'all, though. I, too personally was wondering if Tierra had paid 50 cent. I'm just saying, I was thinking it. I, I wouldn't have said it, but I was. But anyway, it was wrong place, wrong time. Lyrica on the other side talking to Tierra, and she said, you know, she had a rough few years. We're going through a divorce um, after being with A1 for like over 10 years. And now she's a single mom, depression and etc. And she and Tierra both feel like she kind of came to start mess. And she did. That's her sole purpose. She doesn't have a storyline or anything. She didn't have a storyline on the show. So that's all she does is come to start mess. Which is funny because she's on Atlanta. Carly's on Atlanta. And we just don't need two people with no storylines starting mess on Atlanta. But whatever. That's why they need to revamp Love and Hip Hop all the way around. You know what? Tokyo might have been on to something with letting these... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> already casted members go let's replace them all and start over not to take nobody check i'm just saying shay actually kind of basically calm down before her women's empowerment event because she don't need that there and she was like look are you gonna lose another friend you keep on and she kind of can't afford to lose no more friends anyway chrissy mama jones and kk are chilling because they don't really want to deal with the drama today um, the men are invited to the Women's Empowerment event as well. I'm glad the women said they were fine with the men being there because I feel like don't invite the men to a Women's Empowerment event without... That's like when you going on a trip or something or you're supposed to have like a girl's night and then somebody bring their man. Like, why is he here? Like, this is supposed to be just for the ladies. But you know what? The men was, you know, they were involved as well and giving their input and stuff. So that was nice. Um, Tierra said, you know, she doesn't want to do music anymore. Like every, after everything she's gone through, Tierra should have been a bigger star than she is. She should have been with Rihanna. I don't know if she would have got to Rihanna's level, but she was supposed to be Rihanna before Rihanna. Fresher tries to motivate her not to quit. Cause you know, basically you want to live with regrets and I, I get it after doing this for so long. Like what else? What you about to do next? Like work at, at the grocery store. Like what you going to do next? Keep going it girl. Gunplay shares, because they were talking about a man coexisting with a woman. Gunplay shares that he coexisted as a P, a P-I-M-P. Uh, he existed with baby mamas and our wife. The P comment defends some of the ladies, because we know what Alexis Sky went through. Even though some people still saying Alexis Sky stole that story from somebody. I hope that's not true. I hope not. Mariah says uh, he should be mindful of what he says. But Scrap said that's his testimony. That's his story. Let him share it. So they end up getting on the same page, and that was good today. Immediately, like saw each other's perspective. Jen shares, um, you know, that she terminated a pregnancy because we're talking about pro-choice and all that. I don't like to get into that too much on here, but she says she got pregnant right after she had her son, who was premature, while he was in the NICU, and it was just too much. He was two pounds, one ounce, on breathing machines and whatnot. I understand because my son was premature as well. He was two pounds, 13 ounces. Um, that's a whole thing. Like I could go into a whole nother video about that. So I can only imagine getting pregnant during that time. So that's rough. But they all spoke on it and all the ladies said they're pro-choice. Chrissy and Mama Jones are having dinner and Nancy tells Chrissy uh, she wants a grandbaby. Ma'am, 
<laughs> Mama Jones, Miss Mamas. First of all, she already has a grandson. Like, Jim Jones has a son. It's not like she doesn't have any grandchildren. And Chrissy, 50 years old. Like, she's not having no baby at this point. I don't even understand why this was even a conversation. But Chrissy handled it well because she was like, dang, we just sat down. Are you already 10 minutes in, like, getting into it? Like, it made her feel a way. But she said, you know what? I accept it. I'm not meant to be a mother. And that's just what it is. Mama Jones is disappointed, but still happy they're on good terms. And me too, but let the baby thing go. It's clearly not happening. So Shay invites her brother and sister who are life coaches and they deal with mental health to the women's empowerment event. Everyone feels motivated and encourages each other. And she kind of apologizes to Sierra Marie. And that's what she should have done initially. And maybe, you know, would have hit a little different than what it did. So after that's all said and done, Alexis wants to eat because they're serving dinner. But Scrap is like, I don't really like the food that's being served here. I'm going to go back into the hotel or wherever and get some food from there. So he was like, you know, I'll catch you later. And she felt the way that he left her. She like gets in her feelings. I heard she was a cancer. I'm a cancer. So I see why she emotional because I take everything to heart, honey. I don't play by my feelings. Okay. <laughs> but Sierra uh is telling Shekinah because you know Shekinah is still talking about Chrissy calling her out and you know Sierra was like girl Chrissy wasn't the only one that said it so Shekinah like I'm gonna get down to the bottom of it if I was you Shekinah I'd let it go okay we two seconds up off of getting you out of here like maybe Tokyo could have stayed and she could have left <laughs> I don't know so Chrissy doesn't know she wants to attend Chaotic's game night tonight because of Shekinah um but I figured in that moment that she was gonna go Anyway, Scrap comes to Lex's room and she tells him she feels a way about him leaving. Like, she's like, I was in the middle of a sentence and you just walked away. Like, and he said she's treating it like they already in a relationship and they still getting to know each other. It's looking like y'all already in a relationship. Y'all already wearing matching pink. So, I mean, it's looking like <laughs> don't do that type of stuff and then she won't get led on. And it's kind of given that y'all already did the grown up, if you ask me. It's, it's, it's giving that energy. Like, that's why she, you know, taking everything personal. Scrap asked for a massage and said that he had went to breakfast with Tierra. And Alexis is already acting territorial. Girl, don't nobody want Scrap but you. It's okay. It's all right. But Scrap said he doesn't want monogamy. I do not see Alexis going for that. I don't see her going for no poly, open, none of that. I don't see her going for that. Um, but they saying they, you know, want to continue things outside of here. I think he kind of liked that she's being territorial. I feel like it's like boosting his ego a little bit. He's trying to act like he don't like it, but he like it. Um, word on the street is that they still dealing with each other. I don't know. I went on their social media to see and I ain't see nothing. So y'all let me know if y'all know the T down in the comments. So it's time for game night. And Chaotic said he got someone from Miami because he's from the 305. So he got to bring somebody to help his city win the game. And we see, you know, a woman walking up. They ain't show her face, but judging from the body, it looked like Sukihana. My mama just give y'all this little bit. Sukihana is from my state, the state of Delaware. I live in Delaware, real small state in a tri-state area next to Philly. Um, so she's from Delaware. She's from Wilmington, the city uh, in Delaware. <laughs> and Sukihana is actually... A Japanese restaurant that is in our local mall in the food court. But it's like it was a popular restaurant in the food court. Has been for years and years and years and years. Long before she became Sukihana. Sukihana was Sukihana. And she took it. She ran with it. And now she where she at. So shout out to you, Sukihana. It's hard to get up out of Delaware. I'm trying to tell you. So she did her. She, she said she wanted it. She did it. And now we watching her on our TV. Anyway, let me know what y'all thinking down in the comments. Be sure to like the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.